Icon Default. Uh, it's the second year that I've been at Icon. I've noticed a couple of interesting things like Magic players get very pissed off when they give people like me a card that says Magic, Judge, and I walk past and go, no, it's a card. <laughs> I'm wearing the tag, the guy comes up to me and says, So, uh, that's very cool. Um, first got two, it's very weird. I got to play Call of Cthulhu again this year, and I dig the fact that somebody was very mean and warped enough to create a horror game, a horror role play. For those of the people who are out of town who have driven on our freeways, it's more than enough training for you. <laughs> What the fuck are the speed bumps? What the fuck? Traffic circles! Put speed bumps in traffic circles here so people from the free state, namely me, feel at home. I'm originally from the free state, I'm not from here. We're sorry for you. You're probably really surprised I walk upright and I'm not afraid of fire. Oh, It's like northern part of the free state, a small town called Velko, which is known for traffic circles and not much else. <laughs> uh, it's where people ask me where I'm from, there's some people that from Joburg, if you say you're from the south, I'm more like south central. <laughs> so our Dutchman drive in Hiluxes with hydraulics. <laughs> Serious multicolored knee high socks going. Rock gate, yay, so cool. Roughly translated, Ben, it says, Greetings, foreigner, what are you doing? <laughs> It's the same thing. I mean, Jovic's supposed to be this hardcore place, but as soon as there's somebody who doesn't have a short back and sides haircut, picture it. It's Alan, Laura, and myself and Ben walking through. Just for once, I'm not the one getting the weird looks. <laughs> Is there anybody who's ever, like, in, in our particular world of like, role playing and comedy and like, living in Jovic in general? <laughs> we all get that look, especially when you go to Salem City and you know what look I'm talking about. The look of. <laughs> A while ago, the, the question was asked of me, you know, the, the whole superhero thing, it's very much an American and a British thing. Although, of course, British superheroes are the very proper ones. The French, they've generally got bad attitude ones. They <laughs> show up and kill you with bad service. That is my power. I, I would pay money to see Batman pull into Hillbrow on a second. You see him pull in with a Batmobile. <laughs> I'm so like... Quick, drop him to the Batcave. <laughs> I like what you did with the mags, just need a bit of chrome. If you box it on like any, any place in Cape Town near the flats, or park, the car come back, Batmobile's gone, has been chrome, fucking cool sound system. Yeah, the, the jet engine was in the way, we took it out, and it's plenty of space for about four amps and about 20 amps. <laughs> What he has to do now is just turns the subwoofers facing backwards and goes... <laughs> <laughs> the machine gives her a nice touch, but we didn't think you had enough firepower, so we put in four rocket launches and a nuke. <laughs> On the upside, if you need to take a photograph, fuck, you got a bloody big flash. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing us. Still, would be outside of in. 
uh, I'd like to leave you with the basic rules that were given me about how to play Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, God. These are rules that I've recited many people, but how it basically says, well, if, if you're going to play, just don't be the first person into a room. <laughs> don't be the last person. <laughs> don't be the middle person. <laughs> If, if there's a glass of water, don't drink it. <laughs> if, if there's a book, don't fucking read it. <laughs> if there's a switch on the wall, don't touch it. <laughs> so, but what if it's dark? Yes, but if you switch it on, the monsters can see. <laughs> <laughs> Most important rule. Just because you one of the most important rules, just because you have a gun doesn't mean it's gonna fucking work. <laughs> so I, first scenario I had is I had Graham Kane being the DM and he says, Right, you switch on this machine and you wake up in hell. I'm like, oh that's convenient. <laughs> saves me that trip. He said, jeez, I was gonna take four grams of cocaine. <laughs> And um, <laughs> must have been a sick module writer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, it was written by Greg Holliman. They told me that Greg writes modules were based on the simple principle of, and they all fucking died. In <laughs> or rather, and they all go insane and they die. <laughs> or they all go and die and then they get resurrected and then they go insane. <laughs> so the most important rule that I was told about Call of Cthulhu is, no matter what happens, no matter. They, uh, they did it in India. Some of you guys are making up your own joke. Indian people go, yes, Lanny, we get you in a fucking lot of And you're like, this is what we call the Matrix, we call Discount Sailor. I tell you what, Lani, I have a special deal. I've got a red pill. And I've got a red pill here it's on sale together for 40 rand. And I throw on a DVD you've got to fucking see to believe. But um, I think I was, well, two things I was wondering about. First off, in the entire history of fighting the Smith agents, they always said, I've seen men empty whole clips at them and hit nothing but air. I'm thinking, well, fuck, try aiming. <laughs> This one's too stupid to kill. <laughs> My feeling is, in the entire history of fighting the Smith agents, has no one ever thought of using a shotgun. <laughs> At some point, the fire is going to be like, just five guys with shotguns who dodge this. <laughs> 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 Is that the Matrix proved to me that if machines do take over everything, if computers finally control the planet, if you look at the internet and you look at it, it's coming true, if it finally does happen that machines control everything, at least we won't have to worry about Microsoft and Windows anymore. <laughs> Special Windows keyboard, control, alt, delete. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's the reason being is that if the Matrix ran on Windows, every fucking few hours the sky would flicker and change color. <laughs> Doors wouldn't work like they were supposed to. <laughs> Your car would back out of the driveway and fuck off a grocery store. <laughs> and every now and again a big silver bar would appear across the sky. <laughs> the Matrix has performed an illegal. <laughs> does run on Windows. I mean, they've already had to reload the fucking thing five times. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good.